Now we talk about path determination, meaning routing decisions. One of the primary function of a router is to find out the best path that it can be it can used to forward the packet from source to destination. And that best path can be the shortest path. It can be the path which has minimum load or minimum traffic, or it can be the path which has the highest uh, bandwidth, or it can be a path which basically provides minimum delay. So here is a, a flow diagram of the routing decision that is made by a router when a packet is arrived at its interface. So it looks into the routing table and it and there are three possible you know path determination. One is either the destination IP address of the packet belongs to a device on a network that is directly connected to one of the interfaces of the router. That packet is forwarded directly to the destination device. This means that the destination IP address of the packet is a host address on the same network as the interface of the router. The second possibility could be that the destination IP address belongs to a remote network. Then the packet is forwarded to another router and remote networks as the functionality of a router is can only be reached by forwarding packets to another router and this is because routers are used to connect multiple networks and if the packet or the destination IP address does not belong to either a connected network or a device or a remote network the router determines if there is a default gateway and if it finds out the default gateway then the packet will be forwarded to that default gateway or the default route. If the router does not have a default route, then the packet is discarded and an ICMP error message is generated with a message unreachable uh, message to the source IP address of the packet which has initially generated the packet. And this is a logic flowchart diagram that shows all the steps that I have just explained. So routers determine the best path with the help of a routing protocol. That routing protocol has some rules and it has metrics. And as I said earlier, metric can be anything. It can be the hop count. It can be the load uh, on, the, on the whole path. It can be the bandwidth. It can be the latency. Let's uh, compare two uh, metrics, which is hop count versus bandwidth. So this is a typical uh, network. Uh, and you can see if the metric is a hop count metric, then the path, which is going to be the best path, will be from R1 to R3 and then to PC02. Uh, but if the metric is bandwidth, then the path will going to be PC01 to R1, then R2 then R3 and then PC02. So RIP, which is a routing protocol, it uses the metric hop count uh, for determining the best path. OSPF is another routing protocol that uses bandwidth as a metric to determine the best path. Similarly, EIGRP is, is a Cisco proprietary uh, routing protocol that basically uh, uses both bandwidth and delay as a metric to determine the best path. Now what happens if a routing table has two or more paths with the same metric to the same destination network and we call it equal cost metric. If this situation arises then router will perform equal cost load balancing and as you can see from the diagram to reach this particular IP address 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network, it is two hop away via R2 and two hops away via R4. So the, the, the metric hop count is going to be the same, but we are going to, or the routing protocol is going to distribute the load 
and all the routing protocols RIP, OSPF, EIGRP, they support equal cost load balancing and EIGRP also supports unequal cost load balancing as a metric. So we looked into uh, the different metrics and the decision parameters of determining the best path that router basically you know, chooses in order to forward a packet uh, from uh, source to destination. 